Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Chef Matt Burton from ConAgra Foods. I'll be showing you how to make our spicy, crunchy chicken wraps. The first step in this recipe is to bake the banquet chicken tenders in the oven. Simply follow the directions on the package. While these are baking, we'll go ahead and get started on our dressing. First thing you want to do is to drain your one can of Rotel tomatoes, reserving the liquid. You want to reserve the liquid in this recipe because there's lots and lots of flavor. If you like spicier food, you can actually brush this liquid on top of the chicken tenders after they're cooked to kind of bring it up a little bit more. Okay, while that's draining, in a separate bowl, take some ranch dressing, and now your drained Rotel tomatoes. Simply mix to well combined. One of the things I like to point out when I make this dressing is not only is this great on the sandwich, it's also great for taco salads, dipping wings, or chips. Really adds more flavor. The other really nice tip about this dressing is it also helps cut calories and fat by extending the salad dressing's volume. All right, now that the dressing's finished, we'll go ahead and set this aside. And we're going to go ahead and check our chicken tenders in the oven. They smell done. Nice and golden brown, they look like they're done. Nice and crispy and hot. Ready to go. Go ahead and set these to the side. Let these cool down just a little bit. We'll go ahead and get our tortillas that I've already warmed in a microwave. Quick and easy way of doing that, taking damp towels, laying your tortillas in it, throw in the microwave for about 30 seconds. By making these warmer, they make them much, much easier for you to work with. Okay. Now that we got the tortilla on a flat surface, go ahead and put a little bit of this dressing, about two or three tablespoons. Now remember, the flavor for your sandwich is actually coming from this, so don't be shy. Get it all the way to the edges. The Rotel is packed with flavor with those chilies, and that's what we want to come out in this sandwich. I like to go ahead and add a little bit of lettuce right down the middle. Now it's time for the banquet tenders. Being careful because they're still hot. Take about three or four of these tenders, laying them right down the middle, right across your lettuce. Now, time for the cheese. A little bit of cheese. I like to put the cheese right on the chicken tenders. You already can tell there's a lot of different textures and flavors. You got the crispy chicken, you got the cool lettuce, you got these tomatoes and the, the chili peppers. Lots and lots of flavor going on here. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this. Now, a couple of different ways you can wrap it. One of the easier, simpler ways is to simply fold over one edge, roll it over, you're ready to roll. But I want to show you a different, more upscale, restaurant-quality presentation. Get your serving plate ready. Now, what I like to do is I simply grab both sides, the tortilla, fold it over, fold over the bottom part, up and over, and wrap it nice and tight, just like you would be if you were wrapping a burrito. A little bit squeezes up, that's fine. Leaving the seal on the bottom, just take a sharp knife, cut it right on an angle, and you can set it right on your serving plate. You'll notice I'm actually serving it with a little bit of that extra dressing for dipping. Like I mentioned before, it's a great, great dipping sauce. And you're ready to serve.